Okay, I just figured out how to um, go from normal conversation, like normal, hey man, I'm drinking this water, conversation to the force, that feeling, that knowing that we're all one person, we're all one thing working towards something. And if you're aware that everyone else around you is part of you, that you are uh, not just you, what you think of as I, I'm not just I, but uh, a blanket of, of it, of stuff, of things, of, uh, of vibrating shape, then you can start to manipulate the other stuff. You can start to change well, manipulate was the easy way, but it was change. You can start to change the things around you. What I do when I go to that, if, if it's, say, a pressure situation hits, I'll look and I'll look away. Eye contact, no eye contact. It's both valuable. So I'm in my normal situation, drinking orange juice and sitting there uh, waiting for the train standing there up against the wall waiting for the train. And a guy comes in with a gun. My animal instinct is tight. But if instead I visualize the net, I visualize a net like I visualize a distant cylindrical colander up going up into the sky like a pyramid, like a dark pyramid far off, in front of me to the right, far off, probably 100 miles. This is, it's, it's in space. It's all a visualization in space of like beams of light producing this image. I see it there, but underneath it is a blanket, uh, a mass of net stretching out for seemingly infinity in front of me. And it's so subtle that I thought of that. I thought of that, and it gave me power over what was happening around me, I was going to say over you, because that's what I can do with that. I visualize that, that vastness. There, it's like, there it is. So it's not like visualizing, but it's like seeing it, uh, reading it. Visualize, because I'm not using my eyes, but it is what I would think is a visual perception, but it's a visual perception in the mind, like it's stuff I've seen, but I've mapped together, like art, uh, the guy who uh, makes that art, uh, you know him. Probably a lot of people knew exactly what I was talking about just then. And the, a lot of other people are like, that guy? Thanks, dude. Uh, Alan Watts? I keep thinking, not Alan Watts. Uh, he had a showing in L.A. that I didn't go to. Not Keith. I don't know, there's an artist, I'll put his name up later, the wonder, wonders of editing, eh? <laughs> um, and combining different technologies to form a new technology. He made these art paintings, and these paintings, these visualizations, and it would be like psychedelic netting and things, like glowing netting with curv curvature and the human body in the middle with the spiraling shapes and the head, like light coming out at a point in the head. Um really worth worth looking at the art that's that art is worth seeing once at least once in your life because it'll give you that image and things like it, it you know it allows you access to that image that someone else opened and we're all opening images it has allowed me to create that subtle concept and it's probably changing and evolving the concept itself that brings me to that place <laughs> Which it's been documented on here. I don't. I don't have to end the video on that place. This is a great part about being human and being normal. Like I can have normal conversation, and I prefer normal conversation sometimes because getting hyper theoretical, like visualizing that stuff, separates me from the people that aren't visualizing it. And usually, from my experience, most people aren't visualizing it, and some people are. And maybe that number is shifting, changing, growing, and more people are visualizing it. It's, it's handy to visualize it throughout your day. I, I don't, sometimes I get caught in it, and I'll be like visualizing that, and like having that feeling. Like I just did it. I just went into it. And um, it's, 
it's hard to be in that when other people around me aren't because I'm I'm not connected directly to any one person. Unless they get on that level, then I feel like they're there with me. Working with me. Um, like, accomplishing whatever we're doing. Whatever, I tell you, like, Desiree at work. Sometimes, I mean, to name specific people is like, really? But sometimes, like, people have that are on that visualization, that understanding level, there's, I mean, how do you, what words do you use, how do you use that, on that knowing, that encompassment, I keep feeling like tension in my anus, <laughs> like it's like pulsating, it's like it's the deep, the deepest regions of my body, it's like a tension, it's like where my body holds tension, it's like in that, but it's not like, the, it's like up in, like in that lower stomach into the intestinal it's like pulses with power I feel like that's like the core of my power maybe that's why anal sex is I think is not a good idea because your core your power core is disrupted if it happens to you so it's better not to have that it, allow that I hear the sirens going off now which leads me to believe that what I was saying was a bit extreme but I do think that's a central power core and not to jab at it or co compact it or things. Let it flow naturally. Pa pass and use. See, such simple words, pass and use. Like I was passing the idea away, what we were just thinking about. And use, as in, give me control of, I'm using this situation. I'm using, using, use. So just those simple words were like, they were like commanding things. That's how we can be as people. We can use brevity, understand what you're saying, trust what you're saying. Science will tell you photons are particles and waves. It's the force. They become their wave-like structure, and I believe they're traveling. When they hit the threshold of the speed of light, it becomes material, materializes, and then can, gains velocity or it begins to accelerate as we know it. But it hits the threshold and then accelerates into reality, as we know it. But it's all reality. It's speeding up, and then it forming photons. They're both. They're there on both levels. And we hardenize things, but that's the second level. The first level is what we're thinking, what we're feeling. It's there. It's electromagnetic. Even before that, it's causing that. Photons, I was going to say again, and then quanta, which I'm still taking in the photons. I've kind of avoided photons for, well, in the past I had, and it's very interesting that now they're coming to me. A few nights ago, Friday night, and then Saturday night, and now I'm talking about them again. It's, they're huge. They're like a, a basic particle of physics. A very basic. But then quanta apparently is even smaller, but still, the photons. That's the the... It's, it's both, but it's like quanta is like a simpler ex explanation, and then the photons is when you use, although it could be, you know, that's just what it is right now to me here in my house. So maybe the mass thought will, I'm sure, you know, it always expands, so let's not take anything I just said too literally, don't worry about it me thinking it's truth and sticking with it because I'll watch this video, take pieces of it, some things I'll hear and then instantly learn more than what comes next, like uh, making what happened after that obsolete because of what I gained after that initially, like I'm time traveling with the video. This is time travel for real, passing back and forward in a time, but it's always happening in the moment. Time travel we can see in the past and in the future, visualize, but it's always in the moment. Always in this construct. Boy, wow. I'm watching a documentary. I paused it to make this video. It's called The Theosophical Society, The Yoga of Time Travel, Part 1. It's by Fred Allen Wolf, who is a brilliant physicist. Uh, I would like to meet you, Fred. I'm going to go up to Caltech and work with this department.
work with you, work with the guys, work with the girls, work with the people. Let's do something, man. <laughs> See you guys. No, you know what? Let's do something, man. Now you tell me. Because I can only get one perspective of everything. As great as I think I am sometimes, as brilliant as I think I am sometimes, I have one perspective. And there are all of them. You.